Hi, welcome to another video. So, Vector Shift has just rolled out something really exciting. A new AI workflow mode called Conversational AI Workflows. Let me tell you, it's a game changer for building truly custom and interactive chatbots. It's pretty awesome to see them add this level of control. First of all, if you don't know about Vector Shift, it's an AI automation platform that allows you to make workflows where you can connect any data source to AI, create custom workflows, and build the AI agents you need. You could already create custom workflows, and I have a ton of videos on that which you can check out. But now, they have launched conversational AI workflows. Now, you're probably wondering how this is different from the standard pipelines. Well, the standard way is usually input to output, one straight shot. But with these new conversational nodes, you get to define exactly what happens at every single stage of the conversation. Think about it. You can guide the user step by step, which is super great for so many use cases. Let's dive right into the no code builder and see how this works. When you go to create a new pipeline, you'll see an option for conversational. Clicking that, you'll notice a start flag pops up on your canvas. That's where your chat begins. And look, there's a whole new conversational tab on the left with new nodes. You've got talk nodes and listen nodes. Talk nodes are for the bot to send stuff, like a message node for text, or you can send images, cards, or carousels. Listen nodes are for when the bot needs to get input, like the capture response node, to grab what the user types, or you can even add buttons. So, let's build a simple lead collection chatbot to really see this in action, just like they showed. First up, from the start flag, we'll drag in a message node from the talk nodes. Let's make it ask, what is your name? Then, we need to wait for the user to actually type their name, right? So, we connect a capture response node, which is a listen node, to our message. Next, we'll add another message node and ask, what is your email? And, you guessed it, another capture response node connected to that to get the email. What's super cool is that when you run this, you can see the chatbot actually waits at each capture step. It doesn't just rush through. It'll ask, what is your name? Wait for your input, then, what is your email? And wait again. This gives you that fine-grained control. Okay, so we've got the name and email. Let's make this even more useful. Say we want to save these leads to a Google Sheet. To do that, we can just drag in a Google Sheets node. You can configure it to Add New Row. You'll pick your spreadsheet file, and it'll show you the columns. Now, here's the magic. The first capture node, for the name, might be called something like Capture Zero in its output. You map that to your name column in Google Sheets. The second capture, for email, say Capture One, maps to your email column. Now, when the user provides their name and email after both are captured, the workflow will automatically add a new row to your Google Sheet with that info. That is super great as well. But wait, there's more. What if after collecting the lead info, you want the bot to be a helpful AI assistant? Let's add another message node after the Google Sheet step, saying something like, Thanks. How can I help you today? Then, a capture response node to get the user's question. Now, for the AI part. We can build a simple RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, setup. Drag in a Knowledge Base node. You can point this to a website, like the VectorShift URL, to scrape it for context. Connect the user's question from that capture node to this Knowledge Base. Then, drag in an LLM node like OpenAI. In the prompt, you tell it to answer the question 
based on the provided context. The question will come from that capture node, and the context will come from your knowledge base reader output. Finally, take the response from the LLM and send it back to the user with another message node. This is where it gets really powerful. You can have deterministic steps for lead collection and then seamlessly transition into an AI-powered Q&A. &A. And you know what else is super cool? It's looping. So, after the bot answers a question, you probably want the user to be able to ask another one. Just drag the connection from your last message node, the LLM's answer, and loop it back to the How can I help you today? message node. Vector Shift even highlights the loop for you. They've also added a neat little feature for these loops. Cyclic input. This means the first time it asks, How can I help? But on subsequent loops, it can say something different like, Do you have any additional questions? This makes the conversation flow much more naturally. You can see it in action. Ask one question, get an answer, then it asks if you have more questions. Ask another, and it does the same. It's pretty great. All right, so you've built this amazing conversational AI. How do you deploy it? It's actually the same straightforward process as other chatbots in VectorShift. Just hit Deploy Changes. Go to Export and select Chatbot. Give your chatbot a name. There's even an additional field for these conversational chatbots called Message Delay, which lets you set the time you want between each message from the bot, maybe half a second or so. Then just export it. You can embed it right into your website using a script or iframe, or just use the chat GPT-style interface they provide to test it out. So, that's the new conversational AI workflows in VectorShift. This is super exciting for anyone who wants to build more guided, interactive, and intelligent chatbots. Whether it's for advanced lead generation, step-by-step -step customer support, or any process where you need to control the conversation flow precisely, this is a massive upgrade. The ability to define exactly what happens at each stage, collect information, integrate with tools like Google Sheets, all with looping capabilities, is just fantastic. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.